What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we have my spring favorites video. Let's talk about boots, okay? The reason why we're gonna talk about boots is because we have two boots that I've been super excited to wear for this spring season and I know you guys might be like, Kyra boots in the spring, summer, are you out of your mind? I'm gonna get more into the details of that, of course, as I talk about the boots in this up and coming video. On top of that, we have a bunch of other pickups that I haven't yet shown you guys on the channel and I'm super excited to get into those as well. But before all of that, we have to thank the lovely sponsors of this video, which are Farfetch. Huge shout out to the whole Farfetch team. You guys are super familiar, I hope, with Farfetch already. And if you're not, I'm obviously gonna go into the details of what Farfetch has to offer. So if you guys are living under a rock, Farfetch basically acts as the middleman to help you get all of the clothes that you desire. They are one of the largest online web store providers for clothing and basically why they are the largest or act as the largest is because they source their inventory for, from a multitude of smaller boutiques across the world. So where other places might not have that stock, they come into the clutch because they're able to have the inventory of the masses of all these smaller boutiques that might not be uh, selling their product as quickly because they live in their respective areas. But by putting it on their larger platform, you're able to go and shop it super fluidly. So that's why Farfetch is the go for that specifically. So yeah, basically my piece that we're gonna get into in a little short second is from New York. So it went from New York through Farfetch because they middlemaned it, they were like, boom, we got you. And then it went over to me. Uh, that took literally a day from New York to here. Super excited to show you all of these pieces in this video, but I just wanted to let you guys know, of course, your boy has a little discount code. FF Kyron is what you could check out and it'll give you 10% off of your order. All of the terms and conditions can be found down below if you guys are interested in acquiring anything for yourself. Uh, and we're gonna get into exactly what I got for myself. And guys, if you guys know me, this was one of my grails. If you guys know back when uh, Remy and I were filming the Let's Name This Later podcast, I had mentioned this as one of my boot grails at the time. And that is the Guidi PL2s. So this was sourced from New York, like I said, and then Farfetch housed it on Farfetch and I was able to acquire it. I saw these go back up. PL2s seem to fly all the time online, no matter what the price they are so I was hoping that I was able to scoop these in the clutch uh, and show them to you guys because like I said it's one of my grails for a, a very long time we have the little like shoe protectors that you normally get from like a shoemaker but they have them here the Guidi branded ones I recently just did this for my 788Zs and they look phenomenal if you guys want another more specific boot video like boots alternatives videos because i know those do very very well on the channel if you guys want me to get into that like another boot alternative video or anything just highlighting boots in specific then i could definitely do that for you guys but this is just going to be like a little spring spring favorites highlighting two of my favorite boots that i acquired recently and this is the pl2 so if you guys could see it's more of like a charcoal black colorway compared to the 788z's that i have so yeah more of like a very very deep charcoal gray but they could pass as a black if you if you style it in that way i want to say so yeah like it has this like very bulbous yet like slightly flat toe right here really interesting shape gives you almost like a like an animalistic type of vibe also this being made out of like horse leather it kind of gives you that like hoof type of deal and surprisingly between the 788z's and the pl2's i would say that the pl2's are a bit more comfortable out the gate but the 788z's after you wear them for a very long time the 788z's are the um ones with the back zip as opposed to the pl2's which is the front zip i find these a lot more uh comfortable out the gate but if you wear and break in your 788z's they're pretty comfortable it's just it takes a little of time to get to that point unfortunately but it is great i love this shoe definitely one of my grails i'm super excited to style these in the spring summer and it's just just a great shoe i'm so excited so 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 excited to show you guys these 
and also to wear them. Guidis are slowly starting to become one of my favorite shoes to wear just because the quality is insane. The horse leather is just something that I can't even compare to the other leathers that I have in my closet when it comes to footwear, or even my outerwear, or whatever it may be. I'm definitely super special and unique. So I definitely recommend you guys investing in a pair if you guys are interested in any type of like leather footwear that really wants to, if you want it to last a long time, like that's something that will last you years and years, especially if you keep on bringing it to a shoemaker, repair it. It's just one of the best shoes I've ever had in my wardrobe, guaranteed. So I don't see those leaving the closet anytime soon, but they're beautiful. I'm so excited to have them and I'm excited to style them in this upcoming season for you guys. So yeah, just one more time. Thank you to Firefish for sponsoring this video and for sending over those beautiful PL2s. If, if you guys want to use my discount code, I'll put it on the screen right here. Uh, all the terms and conditions will be found below. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, which you should, any type of discount code on that site is super valuable. So make sure to go check that out use it to your advantage and we're going to move on to the next items in this video so the next item is going to be another boot so let's talk about boots and the question why boots in the spring summer i find that there's many times in the summer where you're out the whole day you're having a great time with your friends or you're going to work whatever that's kind of the moments where you get to enjoy the summer you could put on a little slide if you want you could put on the visvum cristo if you want you could put on a little sneaker moment if that's something that you enjoy anything like that you know what i mean anything at all that is more leisure more relaxed more just like a breath of summer air that's where you want to be stepping in of course but when it comes to the nighttime that's when it gets a little tricky i find there's so many times where i get called for yo kyron you want to go to this dinner blah 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 i'm out here in a slide and it just doesn't seem like a smart move to be going out in some type of slide or some type of sneaker i just don't feel like presenting presentable enough to be going to dinner or going to any type of like a uh, night out dressed like that. So that's when boots come into play. I know people think like, oh, like you're going to be sweating, whatever. Honestly, every time I wear a boot, I'm not thinking that my boot is going to make me sweat. I just think like this is going to make me look presentable. And I'd much rather like a boot than like a dress shoe or anything like that. The closest I'll go to a dress shoe is these loafers, these Marnie loafers. But that's like sometimes even these radiate a little bit too much of a smart energy to me. But I could get more into the details of like my the reasons why I gravitate towards shoes coming out of like we're in like the post sneaker world you know what I mean a lot of people are saying that it's like a very like meme thing to say but it's very true like I think a lot of people are starting to grow and elevate and surpass past just sneakers and I think boots are the way to go especially in the summertime if you want to get dressed up putting on a pair of like those PL2s with like some nice slimmer black denim or even like a wide cut you're just ready to go you know what I mean like no nothing is stopping you when you're wearing some nice boots for sure so we're gonna get into the next pair of boots that i just got i ended up doing a little trade with louis we have the biggest box i think we've ever had on the channel i don't think it could get in the whole frame yes it can so yeah this is it next to me this is my whole body okay so that's how large this box is pause and we have this large balenciaga box putting it to the side Ooh, putting it to the side moving all this out the way large dust bag two of them and we have the balenciaga croc boots also known as the yay boots i'm just gonna hold out one just because Having both out is just kind of crazy. Ooh. So I finally acquired these. This wasn't something that I was like super keen on at the beginning, just because the the inner wits of me was like, Kyron, this is gonna be such like a trend and you're probably gonna wanna sell them after a little bit, which I'm not too certain of. Like, you know what I mean? Like I can easily see why this would be looked at as a trend because that was my first gut instinct as well. But the longer I sat with them, I was like, it's just such a unique, proposal to like fashion you know what i mean like i think like the crocs itself like it's it's something that i didn't even like crocs when i was younger now in my current age i wear crocs every single day around the house and i could see myself even wearing them outside the house because how comfortable they are and also they look a lot more fashionable with the stuff i'm currently wearing with like the wider cut pants etc like i have a real tree pair 
right here that I wear all the time. I literally like thrifted these a while back for like five bucks or something like that. And they're amazing. I wear these all the time. So it just kind of like reflected to where I'm at in fashion right now, where I was like, why not? take the low risk you know like why not just get them and it was for a perfect opportunity because i just like traded with louis for something i wasn't really wearing anymore and i wasn't super keen on keeping in my closet because i already got like my contents worth out of it and it just was a little too bright for what i was going for moving forward um but yeah this boot i think is great i don't know how long it'll age per se but with what i currently enjoy i think it's fantastic the way i styled them in the last video Video. they looked amazing too and the platform don't get me started on the platform it adds such a great amount of height and especially with the pants that I love wearing it was a done deal for me so it was written perfect boot I'm obviously lots of hype because of like Kanye etc and I'm very late in comparison to like a lot of people that have them already I already know like Ray has his pair Everett has his pair plenty of people have their pair but like this isn't something that I was like oh I need to get it right away because honestly it felt like a trend to me but the right scenario came up for me to get them without having to shell out my actual money I kind of just traded and now they're here so I'm excited to wear them and speaking of wearing boots in the summer I would wear I know this is gonna be freaking weird but I would wear these with shorts I'm gonna try it you guys are gonna see it and if it works if I if I pull it off I might just be the goat so <laughs> You guys let me know if I'm able to pull it off once you do guys do see that on my Instagram. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. That's what you can check out on there. You'll be seeing me style these very soon. So moving forward on to another Balenciaga item. This is something that I talked about on my story because like I snagged the last pair and I thought I was a little bit of an idiot for buying these because I was like, at the end of the day, they're just black denim, but I'm very keen on fit these days. Like I need something to fit exactly the way I imagine it in my head. And like, especially coming from a standpoint of design, mastering fit to this type of level, I might be like overthinking it, but like, it's just very difficult to do. And when it fits just right on you that's what you aim for in fashion like obviously like there's a whole bunch of other things that you go for like color or like texture but fit is the most important thing like how it fits on your body how it drapes how it falls and these pants did all of that for me no matter what the price were I was just like I don't think I'll find something like this again exactly identical so all that being said on my Instagram story after I got the last one I tried to find an alternative which I did there is one uh, there's a couple I'm going to put them in the links in the description box below for you guys to go check out for yourself and the way i shot it people are like make a tiktok i'm you guys probably know me like i'm not the biggest tiktok dude i've been like almost anti tiktok for so long just because i didn't think that the people you guys that watch my content really in like enjoy tiktok i don't know like i just thought i was too boring for tiktok or like that my personality wouldn't reflect on tiktok so i don't know i was super like hesitant like pushing it back for so long and then after i made that instagram story everyone was like turn this into a tiktok because it's exactly what people watch on there so i did and it did really well so if you guys want to follow me on there it's at swage which is what i want my at to be on instagram if you guys don't know but i need i need that someone help me out with that but anyway at swage on tiktok go follow me on there if you guys are interested shorter format video content will be on there it's my first time promoting it like I, i've had it out for a little bit now i'm just testing the waters having fun it's nothing crazy and yeah yeah. it's like kind of like if you can't beat them join them type of situation you know what i mean like i was super like oh it's so cringe but i think i'm able to do it in a way where it's not cringe so all that being said really enjoy these pants these balenciaga that um that i just got so i've had these for quite some time now like even before i went on vacation to new york philly yeah the fit is just amazing i've been wearing them a ton uh, they have like a bunch of distressing details. This back, the back pocket placement is great. The only thing is like the heel bite is a little bit too intrusive at times. So I might have to get that patched just cause I don't want it to get any worse, even though like obviously that's intentional, but yeah, I just don't want it to get any crazier than it already is and get like unwearable. Not that it would be unwearable, but it's just not something I want to do. And it has it on the other leg too. So yeah, really enjoy these. The fit is amazing. If you guys are willing to shell out the money for it it's definitely worth it but there's plenty of alternatives so alternatives so i don't blame you if you don't want to spend the money for something like this i'll have both 
or whatever I could find in the links in the description box for you guys to go check out for yourself. And we're gonna go on to the next item. Speaking of fit, I was looking at one of the homies videos, Seabass, uh, he does vlog content, fashion content. Of course, some of you guys might know him already. If you guys don't, I'll link him in the description box below as well. But he was looking at some of the redone vintage takes on, like, I don't know exactly how to explain what redone does, but they basically like upcycle vintage to a certain degree. And I was so interested on trying out some of their tops because I've never worn any of their tops. I thought that it was gonna be a little bit too feminine for me. And and their bottoms were always something I loved. I loved their denim. I always suggested their denim for people to like look into because it has great cuts and stuff. Obviously I've seen it for women's for so long, but I slowly started to see wider denim come into fashion for men's. So I always like was pushing that, pushing that. And that is one of the alternatives for the Balenciaga jeans that I found. But all that to say, they have these like cropped slimmer tees. This might look tiny as hell to you guys, but this in the summer Summertime, like tiny T wide pants, crazy silhouette, crazy, crazy silhouette. So these are by Redone and Hanes, and they already have that like pre vintage wash and feel to them. Everything single stitch already. And it's just like, it gives that like marbling because like how thin and airy they are. Just like a perfect fitting tee. If you guys are into like tighter fitting tees, a bit like shorter, more boxy, this is the one, honestly. Like I really enjoy it. I ended up getting the white iteration as well well just because i couldn't get enough and i can't wait to wear these all summer like super enjoyable to wear can't complain at all because you just you can't get enough of a plain t-shirt one of the essentials in building up a, an outfit in the spring summer months all right inching closer to the last few items of this video we're gonna get into one of the homies shout out to fernando of course fernando rangel you guys know him i'm pretty sure if you guys know me you know fernando though he runs unsound rags and silver league also shout out to ty and the whole team over at unsound and silver league they are starting to get more consistent in dropping their private label stuff and they just released these hoodies that are so sick the fit is amazing there's always some type of little drama with people complaining about the price but i'm like bro if you're buying anything similar to what i'm buying and you're complaining about this price like you're just you're thinking backwards I, I don't know how else to explain it to you but anyway this is plenty worth the price if you guys are questioning that you're like out of your mind but anyway this basically split pull over boxy hoodie from unsound rags love 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 this hoodie super deep hood very classic easy to wear unsound rags tag right there beautiful beautiful french terry on the inside of the hoodie hold on let's see if we can get that properly I don't want it overexposed. There we go. I think that's better. But anyway, it has the classic split down the one of the sides of the garment, which is can be seen on their like pants, like the upcycled Levi's that they did, and then also the Japanese denim that they did as well. And they're just slowly building up like a little uniform, and I love it. Um, very easy to wear, lots of staples that can be found. And I, I think you could see that in everything that I got in this pickups video. Is it's all very interchangeable. I could basically wear everything that I got in this pickups video for the rest of the summer as like a uniform and it would look seamless. It would look so good and between like the Guidis, the Balenciaga, the two staple redone tees and then like the Balenciaga denim. I could wear that the whole summer and then like on summer nights, this hoodie, like come on now. So good. Like literally in a dream world, if I wasn't into like styling and like making content for you guys and I didn't have this whole closet, I'd wear something like that. So don't think that you need a million clothes in order to make the outfits that you want to make having a uniform and having things that are super interesting interchangeable is kind of the beauty of having items of clothing like this so i'm super excited to do stuff like that moving forward as i hope you guys are as well into the summer months one of the last things that i haven't really talked about i don't think is not really like summer appropriate but something that i think a lot of people will enjoy are these salomon snow clogs so i've worn these for a little bit of time and i didn't realize i was like low-key gatekeeping them it's just i haven't had a time a chance to uh, chuck them in a video yet, but these are from the 90s. I believe.
believe these are from 99 or 01 between that time frame. But yeah, if you type in Salomon snow clog, you should be able to find them on like something like eBay or anything of the sort, but great silhouette of a shoe. Like look at the side profile of that all suede upper, super easy to wear just cause like you could just chuck them on and that's like a done deal. OG Salomon hit on the back. They just don't make Salomon like this anymore. But in general, the new Salomon is still fire too. So Salomon's definitely one of my favorite brands. You guys will see a whole lot more of Salomon product in the future videos that I'll be making as well, just cause we're starting to build a little bit more of a relationship for sure. Um, and this is one of my favorite shoes right now, guaranteed. Super easy to wear, like I said before. Slip them on, wear them with shorts, wear them with pants, very versatile. Uh, and I hope they bring them back. Cause like that would be sick to have these like brand, brand new, even for these being like like 20 plus years old they're going strong like these feel like i got them within the year so which i did but they feel that new you know what i mean so super excited to style these and excited to build all of these outfits for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video i guess to make it more of like a favorites video one last thing been obsessed with getting candles again i don't know why after we built up the experience of the pop-up that we threw megs and i we did a pop-up recently it did really well we're gonna try and do even more moving into the next couple of months we're planning out one for july already which is super exciting but getting more involved in like experiences for people and like really touching on all bases whether it be like visuals uh smell what you could see which is also visuals like how you're able to try things on like just creating a whole experience for people smell i realize is something that's very important as well this is just one of the candles that i got for the pop-up and i honestly love it so much i ended up bringing it home after the pop-up because i bought it so you know what i mean so i was like might as well get some use out of it have that right there put it on for the last bit of the video as i talk to you guys and wrap up this video so Huge thanks to Farfetch once again for sponsoring this video. They're so gracious and kind, always helping out, helping me out build these videos and this content for you guys. I'm super excited for everything to come this spring, summer, and everything that has just been developing over the past couple of months. Doing more of these pop-ups and experiences for you guys has been like another just breath of fresh air, you know? It's been something that Megs and I have enjoyed a whole lot and we're excited to keep them going, you know what I mean? I have a little bit of footage from the pop-up that I'll hopefully include in an up and coming vlog. So I'm excited to put that out for you guys as well and just keep it moving, you know what I mean? Just keep on elevating doing greater and better things for you guys to enjoy. So that's about it for this video. Let me know what your favorite boot is in the comments below. And if you guys are even interested in wearing boots in the summer, and if you guys are interested in a alternative boot video, highlighting more just boots content, I could definitely do that as well. Uh, just cause I realized that it's a topic of discussion that people are very interested in. So I would love to tap more into that and help you guys out in figuring out that part of style i'm starting to ramble anyway make sure to go follow me on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's where you can check out on there like this video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new follow the boy on tiktok if you want to honestly completely free range at swage it'll be on the screen as well see you guys on the next one peace